Okay, before I tell you, here's what's coming up on today's workout video. Go. Look guys, it's getting serious. I originally planned to do three runs per week. We've upped it to four, because I think I can up the mileage a little bit. Anyway, the whole point of this video is to just show today's workout, nothing else. But let me start by saying, I don't feel like it. You see, it's Friday, it's half five, it's pitch black. I've spent the whole day today with my three-year-old daughter who is an energy ball, went to Blue Water, last minute Christmas shopping, and I'm tired. Come back down. You've got one more mouthful, and then we're finished, okay? Then daddy can go do his run. This is the side that YouTube doesn't show you about real life. <laughs> so before, yeah, I'm gonna go for a run. I've just finished the dinner. The only time that I have to get the run in is now. So still gotta get it done. Um, I'm gonna have to get to the gym. Let me tell you the format of the workout. And also a few little things to motivate myself. So let me tell you the format of the workout. Um, two minute warm up at zone two pace. I'm gonna keep that at maybe seven minute, 6.30 per K pace to seven minutes for 2K. And then we go into two sets of one and a half K at a pace of four minute 55 with two minutes walking recovery in between them and then a 2K cool down. A few things I've done to warm, sort of motivate myself. I absolutely don't need to because I'm at home. I could have a snack. I could have a drink to get myself ready, but no, I'm epic. Right, I got one of these. I went to a shop in Guildford called Fit Stuff. Check them out. And the Kipchoge uses this. Who am I not to comply? And I actually got the whole range. I'm gonna do a video comparing these. This is a gel 100 carb gel. This one is the same, but caffeinated. And then the mother of all of them, the Bowser, the 160. This is a beast, but today, just to see what it's like, I'm gonna go with the 100. Absolutely don't need to, but hey, live your life. This is the end of the day. My energy levels are low. Like, look, let me show you the texture of it, hold on. It's actually really good. Mm. And then another thing, I was talking to Cole Gibbons over on Instagram. I was like, hey bro, how do you run in shorts that short and not get the chafing, the old chub rub? Cause I'm not built like Kipchoge. When I run, you can start a fire with the friction I get between my thighs. And he's like, yo, get yourself one of these. Now I'm not affiliated. They don't know who the heck I am. So I'm gonna give this a go. We need to apply this, but we're not gonna add that into the video. It might need to come with an age rating and we're not ready for that yet. <laughs> I think I've done it right. Um, I'll report back. It feels nice. It feels nice to sort of rubbing against the legs, but I'll let you know. I'm sure people are well familiar with this. Me, this is the first time using it. I'll let you know. So at the end of the video, the verdict on the Morton gel I just had, the effectiveness of this body glide, we're testing these, okay? This, hold on, is Ultra's forward experience. So today's Friday, all of the runs I'm gonna do until next Friday, which will be four runs, probably take me to about 35K, will be done in this shoe for the purpose of reviewing it. So we're gonna to start today with this tempo session on a treadmill. So, workout done, it's time to get in here and do some stretching work on the mobility. Now, you know you're getting to be a serious runner and you're getting better when you start wearing shorts that look like you stole them from your 10 year old son. Let's go, stretching time. Okay, so let's break down that run. I thoroughly enjoyed it. This is my half marathon training plan off the runner app. I'm gonna leave a link if you wanna give runner a go uh, in the description, but let's break down the run. A 2K warm up, and this was done at seven minutes, 22 per K pace for 2K. And then we started the workout. Two reps of 1.5K, 
run an app, ask for four minute 55 per K pace. And I did it at four minute 53 per K pace and then wrapped up with a cool down of 2K at six minutes and 43 seconds. So not bad at all, not bad at all. Anyway, I always also love to talk about the additional stats. So let me get that up open now and we start talking through the other stats, which I really love. So let's start with heart rate. An average heart rate of 156 beats per minute at a maximum of 195. So you know it was a tough session. Right, training effect, I love this. You see, I've been missing out on the high aerobic or anaerobic parts of the workout. So having a program like this really helps with having a very good mix. And so you can see aerobic effects and some anaerobic effects, so which is really, really cool. Um, cadence. This is the one thing I love about trade treadmills. You can see 162 average at a maximum of 186. And this is what the treadmills help you do. They keep you in a consistent cadence. 186 is very rare for me when I'm running on the road. So this is really, really good. The one thing that we should talk about, heart rate zones. So check this out. Partly zone two to get going. Then you got into zone three. The majority of that run was zone four and a respectable amount in zone five. Essentially, really good workout. Covered 7.34K and to me, it's really, really good. So that's a good session. Oh, feedback on the body glide. That's a game changer. Big shout out to Cole Running who gave me this advice. Game changer. Chub rub, see you later, bro. And uh, I don't know about the gel. I don't know if it did anything, but then again, maybe I don't know what I don't know. If I didn't have it, it may have been a tragic run. <laughs> All right, thank you for checking this out. I'll see you when I do my long run on Sunday. The shoe held up well. Ultra Ford experience held up well. No complaints.